Hi everyone, it's Shamila Ramjawan from the Red Corner Show, live from Johannesburg, South Africa. And today is Valentine's Day, so I would like to wish all of you a happy Valentine's Day, and I hope your day is going just as good as mine. So today on the chat, we have Dr. Pia Ratna, who's in Nepal. He is a social and community worker, international peace ambassador, peace activist, global youth networker, and the global president of the International Youth Society. Hello, Dr. Ratna, how are you doing? I'm fine, how are you? And I'm really greeting you. Yes, it's awesome having you today. So what does it feel like, you know, having an interview on Valentine's Day? Oh, I feel very pleasurable and also very lovely. And I feel more lively having on the day because I check on 14 February. And uh, luckily it is on Valentine's Day. So we should have a more uh, lovely conversation as the, we are celebrating the Valentine's Day worldwide and uh, with this uh, capacity of this uh, day of uh, having a Valentine's Day, uh, it's a, that a day that is uh, lovely that all the volunteers, uh, all our international youth society, young people are celebrating the Valentine's Day today and uh, uh, sharing the love and caring for each other. And this is the, should be that our society and international society headquarters to extend warm uh, greetings and the, to all our international youth society uh, members, country directors, and all our the uh, volunteers from international youth society have a wonderful uh, Valentine's Day. That's such a lovely message. Thank you so much. And thank you for joining me on the chat today. I know it's Sunday. Uh, we don't normally do chats on a Sunday, but I had to accommodate you because you have such a busy life. But before we start, um, maybe tell the audience, because we've got a lot of people watching now on Facebook Live as well. Um, maybe tell the audience who you are with the brief introduction, please. Yes, uh, my name is uh, Dr. Pia Ratna uh, Maharajan. That's my family name. Uh, I'm coming from Kathmandu, Nepal, base, our base uh, in Kathmandu, the capital of Nepal. And it has been a spring day. Here is wonderful, uh, the weather here, and the uh, warm greetings from our Himalayan top, rooftop of the world. We have the Everest and also very holy land of the Nepal. So my background is uh, as a social service and community development project officer and serving for the society for more than 25 years. And uh, after having this uh, background as a peacekeeper, I'm also United Nations Peacekeeping Force, Southeast Asia, the um, International Affair Security Director. In this capacity of having associate with, affiliated with many other organization, International Youth Society, uh, we has this uh, very uh, recent um, young, History founded in 2017. We have more than uh, 17,000 uh, members throughout the world uh, in this international youth society. And so I'm the executive president of this, and uh, I'm involved with, uh, affiliated with UN and international youth society, also ECOSOC of the UN, and uh, having this uh, uh, organization. We are creating global platform for the young people. So, and uh, as my background, I was study uh, as a very uh, little boy in Nepal. And after finishing the seventh grade, uh, traveled to Colombo, Sri Lanka and Singapore and Australia to complete all my master and PhD and uh, just finish. And now I'm serving for the uh, society and humanitarian uh, drive. That is wonderful. So, um, so you are the person, the go-to person uh, when it comes to the youth and the involvement. And we can only do this through collaboration. Um, and I'm so glad I connected with you. And I am the country director for South Africa. So thank you so much for appointing me. Um, what do you expect from a country director? 
Yeah, as a country director from uh, around the world, and I'm very glad that we have been the country director for South uh, Africa. And recently, we, just two days ago, we appointed the deputy director uh, for uh, South Africa, recommended by you. And he'll be very much assisting you uh, in the capacity of uh, having together, uh, developing the, uh, the, what you call the uh, empowering for the young people. Our object is to empower all around the world, uh, despite races, caste, and uh, irrespective of any other countries. So we are expanding. It's uh, more than 149 countries. And uh, today itself, we have the country director from Poland, and we have a country director for South, uh, deputy director for South Africa, no, South uh, Korea as well, and also some European countries. And also we have the component of a campus ambassador from around the world and also a youth ambassador, whereby all the youth ambassador representing each country. And um, we are expecting these three category like a campus ambassador, youth ambassador, and whereby the each country, the, the country director will be handling uh, the uh, all the activities in their respective country, whereby, whereby we will have a lot of uh, global events. Uh, once the uh, COVID-19 has been uh, improving situation and we can coordinate and collaborate. And that's how you um, as a country director will be uh, coordinating and communicating with all these uh, country directors from around the world. I am absolutely ecstatic. Thank you so much for believing in me to start off. Um, I am so looking forward to actually running this program in South Africa, and I'm sure we're going to make you very proud as the global president for the International Youth Society. I also want to thank Dr. Asghar Mohammed for coming on board as the uh, vice president, because we've created our own executive committee now where I'm the president, Dr. Asghar Mohammed is the vice president, and then we have the other directors and we're going to make that announcement during the course of this week. So I'm very excited for everybody to come on board and just showcase what they can do to uplift and elevate the youth and get involved in the programs for youth development. And for us, for South Africans, I think it's a very exciting. We're taking the greatest step now to help the youth develop and grow and to mentor them as well. So just taking a step back, how do you feel as the global president for the International Youth Society? And I just wanna know a little bit about how you became involved in that. I think a lot of the audience here, we've got a lot of people watching this, the live stream now. How did you actually become involved in that? Because obviously you had a passion and this is what drives you to do that and, and focus on the uh, sustainable um, development goals um, of the UN as well. So just take me through that journey, please. Uh, yes, once we uh, involved in the United Nations, that means leaving no, be, no one behind. So that is the motive, that uh, motto of UN. So we don't want any uh, young people leave below, uh, left behind in this uh, drive because uh, Knowing these uh, vital, important roles of the young people, they are the future, they are the present. So they can carry, they have the vibrance, they have the uh, charismatic, and they can lead, and they can become a good. Those who have in the past, we have uh, seen around the world, the background, uh, from the politics level to any other scenario, we have a lot of uh, corruptions going on and all these, um, for our leaders has been not much, it's, it's, it's been ethical to control and there's a lot of uh, on, uh, not solid, solidarity and not, uh, we, have, we don't have the peace around the world, still the war going around the world without having this um, background of the uh, peaceful leaders. So what uh, my motives behind all this is uh, seeing the scenario of the world, if we can produce at least one young person representing each country, a good leader, that can change, can bring the voice so that that can spread and also help UN and representing and we can keep the peace around the world whereby our young people who will be the leader for tomorrow and they can be a good leader with good governance 
and we, there will be no corruptions. And one who can understand the environment of the around the world as the young people, tomorrow they will become the father. So as a leader of the government, the leader should be as a father, take care of their children. In the same way, each country leaders or young people should be uh, become the paradigm of leader. So that's how internet youth society want to produce at least minimum one person representing each country become a role model of young dynamic leadership. In that case, in this way, he can lead other people voice in their own country. And with this uh, drive force that we can bring and we can make the wonderful the world that is everybody dreaming in the future. I so agree with you and that is achievable. We can make that happen um, as a collective. You, we all get together, we collaborate and we can really make that happen. Just the Sustainable Development Goals 2030, the focus is on that. What are your thoughts with that? And where do you see us as the International Youth Society interacting and, and reaching those goals? Yes, uh, one of the, our uh, Internet Youth Society, uh, the goal is to for the focus on the SDG. And our motto is also uh, changes through collaborations. So we cannot do it alone. So we need to have collaboration with other organization too. So in this way, our SDG is goal that 2030 and due to this COVID-19, we will have some uh, backdrop and backlash of this um, uh, as a challenge. And uh, we need some more times, but all we have to expedite the process of uh, achieving the goal by 2030. Yeah, so it is now it is 2021, we already enter. So we saw another, another nine years uh, to complete this goal. So in this way, uh, having this uh, global network, like uh, 149 countries uh, with this uh, international society, we can uh, collectively uh, work together and bring the, uh, this goal collectively uh, as the possible, as soon as possible. So when we have this uh, youth assembly to be happen in New York uh, later, actually it is, uh, we'll have in three sessions in New York. So this Internet Youth Society representing each country can participate and learn through what's about the uh, SDG goals and uh, bring back from their country. We can work together in the locally, how we can expand. So uh, we are building this um, network of uh, affiliations, uh, collaborations, MOU between all of the uh, other organizations so that the Internet Youth Society be, uh, become a, a role model. It's uh, like a catalyst bringing these uh, SDG goals uh, as soon as uh, accessible to all the region around the world. And also, especially in the South Africa, we are focusing there too. And international so as, as society will be representing uh, uh, Africa. And of course, soon we should also have focus on South Africa. And so I'm very glad that uh, having a strong team of international society in South Africa uh, headed by Dr. Samila, you, and glad uh, we can uh, achieve this SDG goal in South Africa, Africa too. Most definitely. We are so looking forward to it. And yes, we will achieve the goals. We will make you very proud. Um, so on the African continent, we have 54 countries, and you say that the International Youth Society is now in 149 countries. How many countries in Africa did you touch already? Of course, we had uh, during this COVID-19, uh, we invited all that 54 con African countries, African unions. And I was actually uh, in March, uh, I, I, I have invitation, invitation from go government of um, Ethiopia and the um, uh, African Union representing 54 countries. Uh, and there's a UN in Africa so they are inviting me to be represent there to voice uh, on these uh, SDG issues and other human rights issues there. So uh, during this uh, COVID-19, we had a, a series of three uh, summit, uh, Africa summit, Africa Asia summit, and Africa Europe summits. So whereby I connected all the African nation to Europe 
to Asia and uh, Australia, as well as the uh, South America. So in this way, uh, we touch uh, more than uh, 49 countries because some of the uh, areas uh, due to some uh, technical problem and we should, uh, still could not uh, complete 54 uh, countries. So we are looking forward and uh, we are plan planning uh, in up to this August and we are going to have physical events in uh, all the some of the African countries so that uh, IBIS can play a pivotal role and uh, expedite the pro, uh, having the, uh, the collaborate with the, the uh, semi-government and NGO around the uh, African unions. And also we are going to work with the African Union so that they have all coverage of 54 countries. I so love that, but I just want to take a step back. We are in the middle of the global pandemic, um, COVID-19. How would that affect um, August? Because um, in South Africa, for example, we can't see beyond December. Uh, we're still trying to get the vaccine into the country where we all get, um, you know, get the vaccine and we can think of COVID as being under control. But um, how do you think that's going to happen uh, with having a physical event? Uh, yes, uh, uh, from this uh, low level of uh, vaccine, I mean, the low level of uh, the spreading of COVID-19, the situation where there has been no uh, COVID uh, in uh, some of the countries in uh, Africa, uh, they have been overseeing. So they're believing that after three months time, uh, it will be more better. So even uh, there's not that, that much, uh, very much scarcity and scare of the COVID-19 and um, almost everybody's now outside and doing uh, physical, uh, not event, I mean, so it's not the lockdown as we had a lockdown in Europe and the, compared to USA and uh, Brazil and even the India is open. And uh, as uh, is compared to Nepal, Nepal is a uh, control, it's become zero. We are very free. Everything's open here, cinema open, everything's open for past four months. And this uh, compared to uh, last uh, nine months to 12 months and we are safe. And uh, here we don't feel anything because we can have physical event in Kathmandu, Nepal. And we are planning to have Southeast Asia physical event uh, somewhere between July. Um, as the situation is already on 99% is all, all control. I must say you're very lucky. So it is quite a relief, especially with, you know, uh, COVID-19 just lurking around us. But... How does that feel with you actually going to other countries during the pandemic or during 2021? Yes, uh, of course, uh, there was a lot of uh, events that going on. I, I supposed to be in Geneva this time if there was no COVID-19 situation. Yeah, because we, we had the UN uh, conference uh, invited by Geneva, uh, United Nations. So uh, because of that, uh, we did, I didn't uh, attend it. And even the last uh, four months before uh, this, uh, and, uh, and due, before even second wave, uh, COVID-19, that was again, uh, uh, again spread in the most of part of the Europe. And before that, it was just safe enough that like traveling to Dubai, Turkey, and some of the region, it was very quite open. They had a physical event. I was even quite amazed uh, how it happened. And so still, uh, uh, Turkey is still opening for next month. So in this way, uh, some of the countries are open and there's potential to have the, um, the physical event. So we are seeing the, uh, seeing the scenario, uh, watching closely the development of the, uh, the scenario there. If in case there's a situation like uh, we cannot have all this up on the, on the physical event, we will postpone for that uh, when there's a, a good event, uh, I mean, the safe time. And also uh, International Youth Society I already fixed the uh, event for, uh, uh, 2022, but that is in Singapore. And uh, most of the Euro, uh, guys can attend this and we have some scholarship for that. It's a competition going on. It's a UN, a UN model and all the schools from different countries, we are inviting them. And there are, uh, there are some uh, scholarship for each country. So we will give you the, um, uh, the link and also the more for the information on this upcoming uh, events and uh, 
uh, next month, we are going to have International Youth Society Global uh, Country Directors meetings. At that time, uh, we will uh, announce the calendar events from each country, uh, depending on the situation of the COVID-19. Awesome. I'm so looking forward to that. And 2022, Singapore, I'm definitely in. I will be there. And um, yes, um, just, um, you know, you have such a major role. You president of the International Youth Society Global. You're managing 149 countries. What does it feel like? You know, what is your normal day? Um, because, you know, you have these events and now you've got to pick and choose as to which events you actually attend. How do you actually do that? Uh, yes, like uh, as one as me, a versatile person, then uh, I never feel tired of working uh, almost uh, 18 hours, maybe per day, but I do sleep very well for six to seven hours. I ever sleep because uh, we, without sleep, we cannot have that energy to do that work. So I'm having good uh, sleep, uh, six to seven hours comfortably uh, amidst any of these busy hectic schedule. And uh, I, re, I, 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 I'm, I schedule uh, the, all the, um, the timings. I manage the time per day and now we uh, depend on the priority of the project and uh, programs and the, um, uh, the uh, events and focusing different different regions uh, like uh, we have different different departments so who are looking forwards and in my major decision of uh, having this uh, uh, the events and uh, and that I will uh, directly dealing with them so just happy to announce you that uh, we are having a global music uh, program event that coming on the 17 this month. So we are going to send you the link and uh, all these country directors, deputy directors can be attend. And uh, we are going to launch this uh, global music uh, project in throughout the world. And this is our one of the major uh, IYS project. And beside that, there are a lot of uh, other uh, entre entrepreneurships, uh, uh, global entrepreneurships uh, events also coming up and the summits. And we'll share it that one uh, very soon. And after the uh, our global uh, country directors meeting, and uh, each country will uh, propose and suggest their uh, suitable uh, events, um, both uh, online and offline. That is wonderful. We are so looking forward to forward to it. In fact, I'm already looking at the projects that we're going to be working on. Uh, we're going to make the announcement, uh, as I mentioned earlier, with the executive committee this week still. And then um, we are on to the projects and we will let you know exactly how we plan on going ahead, um, you know, and just to strategize on our projects and the way forward. So, uh, Dr. Pierre Ratna, you, are, you know, I'm just going to go back to this because you're such a busy person. Uh, but you still find time for us. You still find time to communicate with me and to, I think, all the country directors in the 149 countries. What else do you do besides the International Youth Society? Yes, besides this, uh, uh, as I said, I'm uh, also involved with a lot of other organizations, you know, you know, related, directly United Nations uh, Peacekeeping Force, Southeast Asia. Uh, and um, I'm the... Uh, uh, the director for international affairs and uh, I'm also dealing with the interfaith harmony uh, alliances uh, dealing with the peacekeeping around the world and also a national coordinator for interfaith uh, dialogue in Nepal and at the same time I'm also involved with uh, what you call the uh, education consultants whereby all the young people where they want to study uh, other countries uh, for the study, uh, higher study, uh, involved in these college and the university in other country. And we are giving the, um, the uh, guidance council and where suitable they can study. So in that way, uh, uh, through International Youth Society, we will give this platform for uh, all our young people uh, where they want to study for higher study, where there's a scholarships and where there's a project basis uh, and opportunities. And uh, during this hour, my uh, coming up uh, uh, visit to South Africa, uh, I'm going to have this uh, global opportunity connecting to Africa 
and for all the projects, uh, donors, uh, and also those who uh, want to invest and those who want to do business, import, export, because we want to give opportunity for young people. We just want, don't want to talk. We don't have to give physically the work for them, projects, and where they, they can physically involve, their mental can be involved. Then they, they don't feel the lazy and they feel very much empowered so that they can empower the world. It's so interesting because we know the youth of today are the leaders of tomorrow. And this is why we actually on this agenda to better their lives and make sure that they impact the world and become somebody someday. So just on that, um, how did you, I'm just gonna go right back. How did you become involved in the International Youth Society? Can you again repeat again? How did you become involved in the International Youth Society? Uh, involved in the in, in, uh, yeah, I, I, International Youth Society? Yes, yes. Uh, uh, as, uh, uh, as the president of International Youth Society and guided by all young people, and we are working uh, again the, in, uh, with the government of Nepal also, under the Minister of Youth and Sports, and also the um, National Youth Council. We are affiliated of the Internet Youth Society and having our um, office in Melbourne, in Dhaka, Bangladesh, and also Sierra Leone and uh, Sudan, uh, Africa. And uh, uh, next month, we're going to have our incorporate IYS office will be in uh, New York, USA. And uh, Following up, I will be uh, in New, uh, London, and this way, at uh, we are expanding as a uh, incorporating, registering our international society in like a base. So having our uh, country uh, worldwide, country director, assistant director, deputy directors, and also ambassador of peace, and the uh, uh, youth ambassador, and also campus ambassador. So I was seeing that we have different departments like human rights, human resources, uh, IT, and we are giving all these tasks for every uh, nations, uh, including Nepal. Uh, in, in that way, I will um, guiding the International Youth Society as a, a world, world president. Do you get to travel to all the different countries uh, where you have offices for the IYS? Yes, yes, that's why I say we have like a you know, office in the, um, of most of the countries. Even we don't have our own uh, register office. We have all our uh, friends, I mean, I mean the country directors, they uh, convene. Uh, they provide the, um, the facility for Internet Youth Society to be in their respective countries, whereby uh, the, the wonderful, uh, the, uh, the wonderful resources wonderful things that the benefits that uh, we can have is the having IYS uh, register incorporate their own country. After that, they can pro make a proposal for different projects in their organization, in their country, because we are connecting worldwide. So International Youth Society is a catalyst, bringing all, as I said, the uh, UN to investor, uh, business people, entrepreneur, uh, the researcher and uh, SDG goal uh, developer, teachers, and uh, even the artist, and uh, even now music, that project that coming up is in this way, international society is involved with uh, not just only the young people, but we are giving everything, driving them forward for the future. So in this way, uh, uh, this uh, international society I uh, really want to become uh, a world leader, one of the active organizations that can give the privileges, platform for all the young people in respective of poverty, rich, race. We don't see anything, no religion at all. We see as a humanity. Absolutely, and we can only bring about change with collaboration. So yep. just exactly, and just on that, uh, Dr. Ratna, what is your message to the youth? Yes, message to the youth is to uh, 
uh, be a good leader and learn how to be a leader and follow as a leader. And not only you become leader and persuade other person to become leader. As for myself, I don't want to become a leader all the time. The success of a leader is to produce more other leaders. That's the message to the young people. I love that. And we are so looking forward to working with you and the rest of the countries. Um, I'm sure from that 149, it's definitely going to grow into the world. Um, you have a great organization. You're a great leader. I've been watching you. I've been following you. Um, and I know that we're going to make a success of it in South Africa. And uh, we need collaboration from the South Africans as well to come on board. Contact me. Uh, let's get involved in the International Youth Society because, as I mentioned, we want to make a difference and an impact on the youth who are our leaders of tomorrow. Dr. Ratna, thank you so much for joining me. What would be your last message to everyone that's watching right now or that would be watching this later on? Yes, uh, have a happy Valentine's Day it's because today is Valentine's Day. So that's a message for all of us. And there will be another message in next event. So today's very special day is Valentine's Day. So all our young people, all our, all our the members of the Internet Youth Society, have a wonderful day, enjoy, and be happy. Thank you very much, and warm greetings from Kathmandu, Nepal, and we say namaste to all. Thank you so much for that message, and you are now going on to 8.15 p.m. in Nepal. Um, we're just starting our evening. Um, so to everybody watching, thank you so much for joining in. I hope you enjoyed the chat. And if you would like to get onto the Red Corner Chat, please drop me an email, redcornerchat at gmail.com. And let's get chatting because you could also inspire others. Dr. Ratna from Nepal, thank you for joining me today. All the best. Thank you very much. You made this opportunity. Thank you very much. Thank Dr. you. Sarmina. Yes.